Hi everybody, uh, before I begin, I would just like to say I hope that everybody had a very happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrated it um, in the car, so excuse the wobbliness. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up of um, something that I did the other day with regards to um, the pro-white versus pro-black Latinos, right? So this is kind of going to be tied into that a little bit um, and I'm going to kind of use that as a reasoning as to why I have uh, certain opinions on this topic. Now one of the things that I want people to recognize is that I've noticed that between both the, um, the Eurocentric and the Afrocentric Latinos is that the common denominator is that both sides seem to agree upon one thing and that's Latinos becoming their own race. Right, um, and I know that that's a, a controversial, a controversial topic, a controversial thing to say. I know that not everybody agrees with that, and I know that it could be. Some people may consider it to be beneficial to some people with, with a certain phenotype over others, right? And that some people may consider it to be divisive. I. I can see why some people would say that it's that it can seem divisive, especially when you're coming from the the more of the Eurocentric standpoint, where they're tying um, Latino ness to um, the white aspect of our DNA, right? So like the Spaniard, the Portuguese, and all of that. I you know so I get that. So I get why that can seem like throwing us all into one thing is going to make it worse but one of the things that I want to stress is that I know that from both sides from both the Afrocentrics and the Eurocentrics they both have a tendency of wanting to it, that at the end of the day we have to identify with one side and what I'm saying to people is no we don't I'm saying that we should do the opposite and we shouldn't try to force ourselves into any box regardless of um, what white supremacy says or what Afrocentricism says, right? I'm saying that we should find our own niche, that we should create our own box. I know that it's not going to be an easy thing to do, but I think that it would help us in the long run, especially here in the States. I know that that would become a whole lot trickier when it comes to, um, Latin America, the rest of Latin America, right? And I, I think that for us, for people that are here living in the States, for Latinos that, um, that are, are from the USA, I think that we should start off there. We should start off with our group first. And then as far as everybody else goes, we can't really dictate that. You know, I think that the thing is, is that we have our own issues here. And I think we have to remedy the issues that we have here before we start venturing out to um, other parts of Latin America, right? Because I know that when a lot of us, um, when there's people on here that speak in regards to issues that are going on in Latin America, we only know but so much because we're from the outside looking in, right? If we're still living here, it's still the outside looking at, because we're not living there. We're not there 24 seven. We're not in these third world countries 24 seven. We're speaking and, and viewing things from a, a first world American standpoint. And, and we have to recognize that. So that's why I say that our problems and our, our issues with regards to race and how we identify, that that's really us what we're going through here right now. Because for the most part in Latin America, we already know that people identify by their nationality. Um, and I would say that even people who are mixed race who are not Latino, a lot of the stuff that I say in my videos I think could also apply to you guys too. There's a couple of mixed people that do come to my channel and I appreciate it. Um, shout out to Miranda's World and Life Skin Motivation, both of you, and all of you. Um, and you know, I appreciate the support from you guys too and I think that a lot of what I say can even help you guys with regards to um, mixed race becoming their own race and I know that there was a petition um, some time back for uh, mixed race people to become their own 
to become their own race, to basically become their own group. And it didn't seem like a lot of people signed off um, on that petition, probably because we're so conditioned to have to group ourselves to one side or the other. So a lot of us didn't like, enough of us didn't band together and, and sign off that petition. At least to my record, from, from what I remember, I think a lot of people didn't. Um, but I, I think that this stuff applies to you guys too. And it's, you know, I'm not, when I'm saying these things, it's not like I'm on here trying to like, oh, you know, we're gonna, like we're going to save the world. Because there's people like in comments that write stuff like that. Oh, we're just going to get, but, you know, come together and become one happy family. And people write these stupid ass sarcastic comments. And it's like, look, no, I like, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I, I'm, I'm here to do anything. All I'm saying is, is that I think we need to find our sense of self-love i think that we need to love every aspect of who we are and we're not conditioned to do that sorry about that um yeah so that kind of threw me off but i think that we need to find our own sense of self-love and in order for us to do that we need to be accepting of every aspect of ourselves there's a reason why lighter skinned Latinos tend to be more on the Afrocentric side and darker skinned Latinos tend to be more on the Eurocentric side. Why is it that nobody thinks about that deep enough? Why is it that we are, you know, fighting for the other sides all the time that don't particularly of our own groups that don't necessarily look like us, as opposed to trying to find ways for us to all love who we are and love the people who don't look like us right so yeah there's this whole this whole thing and I, I i know i've i've said it before that i do see the the point from both the eurocentrics and the afrocentrics with the latinos i do i really do and i know that that's kind of being really middle ground of me i don't care i guess i'm just that kind of person and if that's not the type of um content that you like of you know there's plenty of people who are on one side or the other there's tons of that on here so you can find that um and, and if you you know you need to be have you know to have people just agree with you all the time then you know there's plenty of those people on here uh and this is why i feel like i'm veering off into different directions but this is kind of why i um, am hesitant especially now to do any type of interviews with anybody to do any type of collaborations with anybody it's nothing personal against anybody but i know that i may say something that's going to go against everything that you believe in at some point and you might take that in a certain way and your followers might take that in a certain way like oh you're supportive of that person blah 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 i'm gonna unsubscribe to you i'm gonna unfollow you i'm gonna you know and i don't i don't want to be responsible for that i really don't um and i think that that kind of because I, I want people to have their own opinions and to feel comfortable in having their own opinions and to not feel like you have to agree with me all the time. And I don't want people to think that just because I'm, I'm being interview, interviewed by you that I have to agree with you all the time. That's not going to happen, you know? And there's people on here who, you know, they'll say, oh, we can agree to disagree, but then they get upset when people don't see things the way that they see it. So then you don't agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? That's not agreeing to disagree. So, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to be mindful of that, mindful of other people and mindful of, you know, my own content. Because like I said before, my channel right now doesn't really necessarily have a direction. The only thing that I know so far that I'm seeing within the content that I'm creating is that I do care about mixed people and that I want us to have our own um, sense of identity. <sighs> But for now, I think that's about it. Hopefully this wasn't too wobbly. I hope that if it was too wobbly that you can just listen to what I'm saying as opposed to caring too much about what everything looks like. But I know I've criticized people in the past about their videos being really wobbly, so, so forgive me. All right, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching, because I'm getting a lot of people watching my shit. I, I do appreciate it. I, I don't know, but um, thank you. Thank you. Thank all of you. And for all of the people who are subscribing to me. I, I, I don't know. Alrighty.